Hey everybody, here's a project I'm trying to work on right now, and he is a prana, and let's, let's uh, explore the insert mesh. So let's create a new object, insert, um, poly mesh 3D, spiral feet 3D, uh, let's, let's do the chain, or the gear. Okay, that gives us this gear, which we'll select and uh, isolate everything else by selecting solo. <clears throat> and then, if we turn on polyframe, uh, there are 8,192, um, you know, uh, points that make this up. But we can reduce that by going to Z plugin. Then open up Decimator uh, Master, preprocess current, and then set what percentage of the uh, 8,192 um, polys you want to be decimated or removed. So let's go to about 12% and decimate current. Now that really 985. So now we're uh, dealing with a much smaller mesh. Okay, so let's give this a little bit more um, personality. So press uh, BMV and then increase your brush size. Nice. Okay, that is different. Okay, so press B, create insert mesh, new. Now we can delete this. Now let's decorate our little fish man down here. Looks crazy in polyframe mode, but if we turn that off and turn solo off, we can see his pretty eyes, and we can either just use this uh, new brush that we've made and place it on our fish to give him scales, sort of, which looks nice. I think I might even keep that. Cool. Doesn't that look like foliage underwater? I like it. Uh, I think I might keep that. Yeah. But let's, uh, let's see, where can we put this? Um, let's, okay, B, okay, that's okay. Go to uh, the stroke, and then open up curve, curve mode. Now this is really cool. We can create lines that we can make squiggly, whatever. Um, and we can create what we created over here in a line. Hold down shift to make it go all the way around your mesh. Nice. Now, isn't that cool? That um, created this green stuff over here in one straight line. And we can edit this at any point in time and it follows the 3D of our object or whatever we're creating or trying to place this on. Fancy fancy. Um, one more thing I'll note before uh, stopping this video is uh, if we go back to stroke palette there are many options in here that I will cover later but uh, Curve step is how many times this object is repeated. Right now it's at a standard one, and we can increase this so every two and three point five, um, two point three five nine one, it will be uh, generated, which um, gives us a little bit more room. Okay, one two three point yeah, and the other way goes uh, closer and closer 
in on what we just created, which gives a drastically different look. And this is very useful if you are trying to make I don't, whatever you're trying to make. So that is really handy, and everybody should use this as much as they possibly can. And I hope you guys uh, visit me in my next video. I might explore this a little bit more. Yeah. Anyway, let's take a look at our sea creature person. Very stylish. Fancy, fancy.